struggle here. A charred letter beneath the body. He must have tried to hide it before he died. Someone knew the bishop was conflicted and killed him before he could say a word. It's a confession. The bishop played a part in destroying these texts against his own will. The rest of the letter is burned, but makes mention of the minster and the abbess. Is that where she's been keeping these texts? Look around! Search every room! They're around here somewhere! It's them! It's the Red Hand! Oh, Lord of mercy! Quiet. I should... The Red Hand. I need to leave. We will burn that sinner just like the others. Stay out of the way, heathen. We will complete our work. We have to stop us. The target sent the Red Hand after me. I must be closing in. It's time I head to the Minster. The abbess knows more than she's letting on. He's coming to fruition. At long last, we have waited in the shadows for too long.
up and watch out for uninvited. The other side must be barred. Not like interruptions. Red hand all around. We must have secured the minster. Hey! Catch! from the other side. This place is heavily guarded. What? Just what do you think you're doing? This is no place for you, priest. Go. Now. Blasphemy! Stop this at once! Something troubling you, father? Abbas, look, they are burning all of these passages. Why are you not stopping this? Because they ordered them to. What? 
The vellum that burn before you are covered in lies. So long as they exist, you cannot hope to see the world the way it truly is. Lies? Abbas, what has happened to you? We are God's children all. Do not renounce him like this. Please, I beg of you. You can still repent. God will forgive you. You know he will. Your mind has been poisoned, but worry not. We have the antidote. We will set a new example to which all may aspire. You... you... you're mad! You won't get away with this. I won't let you... No one to tell. No one who will hear your cries. If you cannot bear to watch them burn, then you should burn with them. <laughs> I want it all destroyed. Every text, every passage, every scribbled piece of paper, everything. It is time to end this. Yes. By a brand. The Abyss is the firebrand. She'll kill whoever stands in her way. Time I get between her and her next victim.
Sunan, guide me. Need your eyes, my friend. Wait up! Go, tell them what you see that bring the Texas here at once. This fire that burns inside. I've always had it. A longing to do something grand and important. But that door was always shut to me. My methods deemed too severe. I was cast out. Shunned. Scorned. But the Order, they took notice of me. Saw that it was courage that drove me. Courage to change the world for the better. They reopened that door. And you used your chance to destroy a way of life you did not support. We have seen time and time again what happens when people are left to interpret for themselves. Knowledge must be controlled. Only then can the message be widely understood. The day where there is but one truth draws nearer. One truth, that is what the Order offers. This one sought to spark a new flame, but did so with a heavy hand. Not a teacher's tongue. This cleansing of yours ends here. My work is incomplete, but not inconsequential. There are others who carry on. For one of the four is us. Why did you say that? What does it mean? Now I go. A flame that grows bright and burns ever more, ever light. To Helheim, where colder and crueler fires await. To Juvena. She'll want to know about Abbas Inkyborg's involvement.
to get on the other side. you bring the firebrand's flame burns no longer it was Jorvik's abbess Inkiborg gods I would never have suspected does the orders reach no no bounds none and it is often those we least expect who carry out their ambitions the abbess sought to destroy all Christian texts in the city rid Jorvik of their ideals she did utter a phrase that perked my ears one of the four is ours. Four? But there are only three targets in Jorvik. Could there be something we're missing? Damn Picts! Not only do they hold the North, but those lawless chicks have free roam in our lands as well. Yours said our spies are on the ground. Under the ground. Only one of them has returned, bone-beaten and bloodied. The Howling Mother take them. Lovina, a moment of your time. And Hure if he's about. I will be with you shortly. Two more left to hunt. The disputes coming out of the docks lately have been deafening. Head there and dig around. Something is bound to turn up.
Jorvik's trade depot. This must be where the merchants' wares are being kept. The Dogmaster. I do not see him. Is he here? Keep walking. You have no business here. He has a loud mouth. Usually stands right around here, yawping. Hard to miss. Fuck off. There must be another way in. The depot is well guarded by the Red Hand. There's a stake in these docks. Seems like the complaints by the merchants never reached the council. God. The sting of a needle. I'm on his trail. Seized exotic wares. These are worth plenty. Something that could be on the Red Hand's agenda. Accumulating wealth. So, the Dogmaster seizes cargo and resells it through merchants in the marketplace. The ones involved bear black cloths. I may be able to get their attention by showing some silver around the marketplace.
go, Sunan. Careful now. Coppergate Market. I'll flash some silver to the merchants. That should get their attention. What do you mean, trouble? I don't know for sure. Hear me, friend. I have a haul of silver that will sink my ship. Can you help me spend it? Keep it down, would you? You'll get yourself killed flaunting like that, especially around here. What good is a market if I cannot sniff around its stalls, eager to spend my gains? You wanna let go of your silver? Try the narrow alleys. Now be gone! the need is calling for more protection. Meet me here at night. We will go see him together. Those guards will return after dark. I might be able to follow them to the needle. Good day. This is available for purchase. A smart purchase. Nothing more? I can fetch this if you want. I don't have an eye for these sorts of things. I have use for this.
you for selling to me. Anything else? I'm... Just who it is they work for. Oh, we... I hear this marketplace sees its fair share of silver pass through. I have something that may interest you. You will want to speak to Grigori. The Dark Master. Sorry, who are you? Someone who wants to do business with Grigori. I don't know your face, and I've said too much already. Please, go. Psst. Psst. Did I hear you talking about silver? I'm looking to spend a large sum, not fork it over to some street beggar. Oi! I'm no beggar, you dolt. I'm with the big dogs. You mean the needle? You have something he wants. If you truly want to make a trade, head to the statue near the east gate. I shall. Watch yourself around here, young one. Oh, me? Ha! <laughs> Please. I've a bigger sword than a lot of them. Sorry I was late. The lady. Have you any wine for sale? You know how There's it is. an area drop in Just town. hurry, will you? Sorry. We have rounds to make. All the wine's been if I follow them, they should lead me to the needle. Who will the cup? But the last, this feast is the talk of the town. I am eager for it. Good man, that Alden. not to draw attention here. This is the statue the child talked about. Now to find the hidden key. Found the key. Now to locate the hideout. Empty carts and a black cloth marking the house. This is the place.
hiding among the rats, Needle. Fitting. silverware some still in their crates has this all been seized as well <laughs> melting the silver into glass and coins what do they plan on doing with it I'm not surprised to find you creeping down here. You! You don't belong down here! We run a clean dock in Jorvik. I believe those were your words. And yet here I find you swimming in silver from all the wares you seized. Are you the Needle, or just another of his pawns? You have it all wrong. The fabric of this world has been used up, torn. Shredded, you see. Someone must be there to stitch it back together. Someone with a firm yet steady hand who can thread a needle. Someone like me. You're a shit poet, but at least my question is answered. <laughs> yes, well, we all have our weaknesses. Yours appears to be the iron between us. Think your men are going to stop me? I would not undermine them so. The Red Hand are loyal to our cause, which is more than I can say for the merchants. Make it quick! Meet me in the marketplace when you are done! What? Red Hand on
Come, come, walk with me. It is good to walk. <laughs> Gregory. Good to take in the air. The sights, the sounds, the smells. Please, Gregory, I, 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 I didn't think you'd mind. It was just a few coins. Shh, 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 shh. I understand. It's not your fault. It was mine for thinking you had anything but empty air between your ears. With all the silver I've given you, I have nothing left to feed my children, let alone myself. Please, understand. Oh, dear God. Merchants of Jorvik, I promised you a future rife with opportunity. And what was the one thing I asked in return? Do you remember? Loyalty. Loyalty! Let this serve as a lesson, should any of you think it a good idea to threaten my operation. The guards here are vigilant. Now I'm angry! 
Your life for that. Funny. As a child, I thought of snow as the tears of God, frozen by our sins. Weak with hunger, I stared into the sky, hoping it was me he wept for, me he sought to save. But God did not save me. The vault did. He took me to a fine house, gave me hearty meals, a warm bed. For the first time, Someone extended a hand, showed me kindness, compassion. And it was then that I made a vow. I vowed to never turn my back on he who was there for me when God was not. So you served the vault, knowing full well what he was a part of. The Order made our paths intersect. I owed them a debt. And I repaid it by saving this city from its own destruction. A life debt is a strong motivator. It took hold of this one's Hugard, drove it, and never let go. Yet not with the same compassion you were shown. Too many have suffered by your hand in pursuit of this course. You're right. Perhaps I deserve this death. But I am but one cog in a large wheel. One that still turns unhindered. Not for long. Where you have gone, there will be no tears waiting for you. 